If you get this message and it tells you you can't download YouTube, Netflix, or other apps, I'm going to show you how to get past that. So you got an old iPad 1, 2, or 3, or maybe it's current, and you try to go to download YouTube, and you click on this right here, and it says, unable to purchase YouTube, watch, listen, stream, is not compatible with this iPad. That's not true. There's two ways to do it. I'm going to tell you what to do. It's really easy. You are going to go on your new current phone, say your iPhone X, iPhone XS Max, whatever you have, and you're going to go in your iCloud, and you're going to purchase... Um, YouTube it's free to do it just download it on that device because it's current and this is a lot older Next, You're gonna go on your iPad right here You're gonna go to settings and you're gonna go to iCloud and you are then going to sign in To the same account that is on your iPhone X iPhone XS Max or whatever that you purchased uh, YouTube on on that device now it's on here Now click on your app store icon and when you get on this uh, section on your app store at the bottom, it says purchased apps. Click on purchased apps and you are going to find it in your purchased app section. And then because you've purchased it on that iCloud on that device, which is current um, within a few years of that, then when you click on this, it will then um, download it and put it on here. The other way to do that is to go to Safari and you're gonna search it that way real quick. I'm gonna to go to YouTube. This works YouTube, Netflix, and a lot of other apps that are out there. Search it. You're going through Safari and that's the way you're gonna save your YouTube app. You're gonna go here, click on that. And once you go to YouTube through your Safari, you could save, save this, this on your home page. Holding this down box with the arrow in the upper right hand corner there is a little box with a arrow aiming up right here you're going to click on that and then you're going to get this screen it says add to favorites add to bookmark add to home screen is what you're going to look for this does scroll left and right if yours is way over there add to home screen and it wants you to type whatever you want but it already has the um, icon and there is your youtube icon you can do it for Netflix, Facebook, anything that's not working out. So you can make your iPad search it through Safari. It's just as good as having the icon, or you could do it the other way where you're signing into an iCloud from a current version of that year, and then now you're able to use YouTube uh, with your iPad 2 or 3. So a lot of people don't know that. Hopefully you can pass this video to people who, who don't know. That way they don't just get rid of their um, iPad. They're still a lot of fun. They still work just fine. Uh, give me this uh, thumbs up if this video helped you out. And if anybody knows any other ways, because there's other ways to do it too, um, leave it in the comments for everybody who's watching this video. And pass it along. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.